Hi guys, I'm going to explain you about the second scenario. In the previous, I have in the previous video I have uh, explained about the first scenario, like uh, creating a simple one-to-one -one mapping to load data from uh, implement source table to implement destination table. But in this video, I'm going to explain you about uh, uh, how to join the multiple tables using the source qualifier. Uh, in the Oracle database, I've created a few tables with the uh, customers and department. So have uh, six rows in the customer table. Similarly, I have uh, four rows in the department, and here customer and department has the relations. That's the uh, customer in customer table. Department number is a foreign key of the department table. So we are going to combine these two tables using the source qualifier. And this is the target table. Here, the target table we are we have a, a columns which, is, which has both in source and targets. These are the columns we have that are present in the destination table. So we're going to design. We're going to map those columns here. So in source definitions have already been created from the customer and department, and target table is already present in the destination table. Here I'm going to create a mapping here. Create map. Give the proper name for the mapping. Because department. Okay. department okay and there similarly we need even the department table also need will be joined in the here we can see that we have two source uh, qualifiers so we can delete one of the source qualifier because the both the tables are from the same databases so we can add these two into the same source qualifier okay okay similarly we are going to map it to the target table Okay, so once I created this, click on the source qualifier and ports. You can see there's both input and output ports here. The properties. In this SQL query, we are going to combine those generate SQL. So if you see that generate SQL automatically, this has created that a uh, query has been created. This is nothing but the inner join between the customer and the department table. Validate that. Okay apply okay and save this before saving validate the mapping there were no errors okay insert into the final table and create a session for this using your workflow manager create a select the mapping which you want to create a session for that okay add that link to get these two tasks okay and make sure the connections are pointing to the proper paths proper connections here we have okay 
and you know it will be a normal bond okay and validate the session sorry workflow so start the workflow before this we'll validate the uh, we'll check in the SQL Oracle table cus department table so here they before running the session there are no rows present in the cus department table and uh, moreover okay, if, if you see this the mapping here we have done is like from the department number and here but from this both the tables this SQL query is inner joining this based on the department number okay so I'm going to start this task okay save this start workflow so we can see that in the workflow here it's running Uh, apart from this source qualifier we can even uh, put a filter conditions in that or specify an outer join rather than the inner join what we are doing right now and even we can uh, select the distinct uh, records if you have uh, multiple duplicate records we can avoid those using the source qualifier itself it's better to filter the rows if we don't need the huge transformations because the flow will take time to from move the data from source to target so here the session has succeeded so you can just click on the run properties and see how many rows has been moved okay you can see that the six rows has been affected so we'll just verify from the database so here we can see that six rows have been present in the cost department table by joining these two customer and department tables and thank you for watching this video and uh, i'll be uploading the same thing in the uh, my blog informatica for berry.blogspot.in so you can go through that uh, thank you for watching this video please subscribe the below button